Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the Shure Beta 57A. Now, to celebrate the end of the Cold War, Shure released the Beta 57, now known as the 57A. The 57A is a bit of an upgrade to the SM57. Now, the 57A is not as popular as the SM model due to both purpose and price point. The best way to describe the Beta 57A is actually to compare it to the SM57. Now, like the SM model, the Beta is also a dynamic microphone, but it utilizes a super cardioid pickup pattern instead. Now, this allows for high gain before feedback and superior off-axis rejection compared to the 57. Now, the frequency range of the 57A is from 50 to 16K. It has a tailored frequency response wider than this SM57. The Beta 57A is great for vocals, drums, guitar, bass, and keyboard amps, and sometimes brass and woodwinds. The Shure Beta 57A is also more sensitive due to the use of a more high quality capsule than the SM57. Now, the build of the mic parallels that of the SM57. They're both rugged, but Shure went a little farther in adding a mesh grill uh, and an advanced internal shock mount that limits vibrations even more. Now this mesh grill is very important because it protects the capsule even more, like when the microphone gets dropped. But it also has an integrated pop filter and that protects from small gusts of wind and that explosive vocal. As far as usage goes, some of the notes from the SM57 blog apply. But the biggest contradiction is the, how to aim the Beta 57A. Now since the 57A is a super cardioid, it does end up picking up some sounds from the rear therefore making it difficult to aim while facing it away from an unwanted source. The Beta 57A works much better when unwanted source is to the side at an angle of about 120 degrees. Now, this is something also to consider when using on-stage monitors and floor wedges. At MikeReynolds.com, the Beta 57A is available for a three-day rental period for only $14 when adding it onto an existing rental. That wraps up the Shure Beta 57A. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com.